Alright YouTube, this is Justin Kabaka here. This is my third take on this video. Uh, it's been uh, kind of funny behind the scenes. I need a, an outtake reel of of this, but uh, I wanted to show you guys a new project tonight. And this this animal right here is not actually not it. This is an ivory ball python, and I actually already have a, U, a YouTube video of the ivory and yellow belly, so definitely suggest you check that out. But this animal is the first snake I want to show you in a progression, and I ultimately want to show you a new new animal in my collection. It is the ivory spider. Now this is an ivory. I'm going to show you now a this is a yellow belly spider. These are the key ingredients to making the ivory spider. And you see in this, this spider the yellow belly influence has added some orange and gold to the dorsal. And you can also see the yellow belly edges on the on the spiders make it really easy to tell that you've you've hit on the ivory spider when you when you're working to make this animal. Definitely a great animal to have in your collection. This is a female. And now I'm going to show you the girl of the hour. This is the ivory spider. And to my knowledge, this is the first one in the world. Um, it was produced by Colin Weaver, and I'm very pleased to have her in my collection. I bought her in a joint project with Dave Ruchin of BloodBallReptiles.com. And, you know, he's an excellent guy. I definitely suggest you check out his site. The ivory spider is an incredible animal. If you look at the head pattern, you can see the spider influence in the head. Overall, the animal it's lost it's lost the yellow stripe. It's kind of kind of a, a yellow tinge to the back, and a very very delicate brown pattern here along the the dorsal, and it's just incredibly incredibly beautiful. I'm excited to be working with this animal just, just for everything it can make, and and the main thing that that makes this project so exciting is the potential to make the spider super stripe which is an, an incredible animal and this this female is is key to being able to do that and she doesn't like to hold still but I hope you guys get a good view of her and get a good idea of what of what this looks like this animal looks like thanks for watching my videos guys and I appreciate it and I'll go ahead and put this one to a close